Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. When you come to a tractor show where red power is the feature, you're bound to see something you've never seen before. And Buddy Woodson of Tennessee, it looks like to me you've got a AAA rated tractor. Tell me about it. Yes, uh, about uh, two years ago I started planning and building this little tractor. A friend of mine in Bogalusa, Louisiana built one about 20 years ago and uh, took it to a few shows for a couple of years and then it was uh, uh, relegated to the museum down in Bush, Louisiana. So I wanted to build one to show. There's uh, maybe five or six little double A's around the country that I've seen on different shows, but uh, I wanted to build another triple. So uh, I retired from the Tennessee Department of Agriculture, had a little bit of free time during the winter. So uh, I built this one uh, winter before last. So tell us how you put three A's together to make a triple A. Well, a lot of it is, is actually pretty simple. International used the same tooling on the drop box as he did on the transmission. So a lot of it will, will bolt together. I did have to make the differential axles, had to make all the clutch linkages, the throttle linkages, the choke linkages, uh, extend the front end, and of course make the rear differential axles. So a lot of, uh, lot of rock and chair engineering. And how much power do we have with the AAA now? Did, did we triple power? We did triple the power, so we went from an 18 or 20 horsepower tractor to a 55 or 60 horsepower tractor. And do all three engines, are they all independently fueled or how does that work? Yes, they're all independently fueled. This little tractor will operate on one, two, or all three engines. Uh, all three gas tanks are, are functional, so uh, on a rainy day like today, I've got three chances of making it go. <laughs> and how about the steering? Uh, how did you, what kind of challenges did you have in doing the steering? Basically, I just had to elongate the front axle, make it longer, uh, do some bracing, uh, didn't change the pivot point, it all still uh, runs basically off the center engine steering. The other two uh, steerings are just uh, fabricated to fit. And I noticed that there are two seats and two steering wheels, uh, both operational, or tell us how that works. No, the, uh, basically I drive it from the right-hand side. The, uh, the other side is more of a parade seat. It also helps to reach the farthest gear shift lever over if I've got a, somebody riding in that seat. What do you like about the AAA? What do you really have fun with it? It's just different. I, re I like different things. I restored uh, international high crops and some other brands for about 25 years uh, and I noticed that you know people really look at those at shows but but where I'm from Eagleville Tennessee I've carried the high crops to shows for multiple years and now they're commonplace so I wanted something different and uh, of all the tractors I've ever built and I've probably built 60 or 70 tractors in the last 30 years the double and the triple get far more attention than anything I've ever built. I was going to say, you have not only the AAA, but the AA. Tell us about, a little bit about that. Yes, I decided I've got room on the trailer for something else, and uh, along with the triple, I wanted to build a double and to show the two together, and uh, they sure make a nice pair. And We've even carried them to some antique car shows, and they steal the show. <laughs> they absolutely steal the show. How about here at the Appalachian Antique Farm Show? Uh, what kind of reaction are you getting from the AAA and AA? Oh, we've got great reaction. We uh, got here probably about 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's been a steady crowd of people around them the whole time. So, Buddy, tell us a little bit about the Model A tractors that you used to create the AAA. What year were they, and I guess what kind of shape were they in when you got a hold of them? Well, International <clears throat> built the Model A from 1939 through 1946 or 1947. Then they followed those with a Super A. So these are all three different years. They all fall within the 39 to 46. I have a 1940 model, a 1942 model, and a 1945 model. All the parts are basically the same in the interchange. And what do you think was good about the Model A tractor that uh, IH built? It was just a little economical tractor that basically would replace the horse. Uh, they were going from the F-12, F-14, 
and this was their more modernized streamlined little tractor. I think the new one sold for $475 or so in 1939, so economical for a farmer to have in those days. All right, Buddy Woodson with his triple A, built it himself, doing something a little different, but it's getting some attention here at the show.